All right, so we're gonna be doing some GLB animating in After Effects 2024. We're gonna be using some environmental lights and shadows. Let me show you. All right, so I have a clip here of a adorable little robot. I got this from Sketchfab. I'll drop that link below. So I'm gonna download this as a GLB file and I'm gonna bring this into After Effects where I have a stock clip of just a desert rack focus, really shallow depth of field. So a perfect spot where I'm gonna put my little robot guy. So I'm gonna drag this GLB into my scene and I'm gonna scale it down quite a bit and I'll reposition it right there. Before we get any further, I wanna give a big shout out to my YouTube members and my members on Patreon. If you guys are interested in exclusive tutorials, early access to new tutorials, priority chat, and even get a shout out on these videos, then check out my Patreon page and my YouTube memberships. Hope to see you there. Let's dive back into it. And now that I have that set, I'm gonna go to HDRI Haven and I'm gonna search for a desert scene that's similar to my video clip. This looks pretty good, so I'm gonna download this desert landscape and I'm gonna bring this HDR file into my scene. You can see there it is, looks pretty close. I'm gonna hide this in my comp. And then from there, I'm gonna go to new light and I'm gonna create a new environment light. Hit okay. And if I go down to my environment light settings under source, I could drop that down and I could click on this HDR file that's in my composition. So I'm gonna select that and you can see immediately the lighting changes on my little guy here. I could adjust it even further by using the X and Y rotation. And this just rotates the HDR scene so I can match up my HDR lighting to how my scene is actually lit. So let me try to get that more precise here. Okay, that looks good. So then obviously I can increase the intensity on this. So I'm gonna bring this up so it matches the intensity of the sun. That looks pretty good. And once I'm all set with that, under light options, I can turn cast shadows on. And this might take a little while, but once it renders out, you can see the difference underneath the undercarriage here, it has some really nice shadow work, you know, based on the environment light that I added. All right, so from here, I'm actually gonna work on my shadow that's cast on the ground. So I'm gonna go to new, solid, and I'm gonna make this white. I'm gonna reposition this so it matches the perspective of the ground. If you need to speed up your computer with the 3D rendering, you can click on Draft 3D. So I'm gonna actually bring this uh, shadow layer underneath my car layer, and I'm gonna make this a 3D layer. So I'm just gonna whip it around here, and I'm gonna bring it right underneath my car, okay? And I'm gonna reveal my background layer again. And I can actually change the geometry options as well, adding a little bit of a curvature, make it look more realistic so it's not so flat, and I could reposition it. Okay, so then if I go to my white solid and I open up my material options, I have to make sure that accepts shadows is on only. This is gonna get rid of the white color and it's gonna show me the shadow that's being casted. Okay, so I'm gonna turn draft 3D back off. This is gonna render out for a minute or so. And you can see my shadow looks really good. It's a little bit harsh. If I want, I can lower the opacity of my white solid and this will soften the shadow a little bit. I could turn Draft 3D back on so it renders a little more quick. And this is one of the new features in After Effects 2024. If I open animation options, I could select one of these built-in animations that's built into this GLB file. So I'm gonna click on this one. This is just probably all the animations built in. And if I isolate it and I just show you what it is, it's a pretty nice little animation there. Some movement. That looks really good. All right, so from here, I could just animate my position parameters and I can have him kind of just driving through the scene. And then from here, you could see that my scene kind of rack focuses from the background to the foreground here. So I just have to match up that rack focus. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy my video layer. And then with that selected, I'm gonna click on guide layer. And this is just gonna make it a reference layer. So if I pre-comp all of these layers, you could see that the layer just is isolated on a alpha channel. So I'm actually gonna paste in the background that I copied, bring that back into the background. And now I could just use the camera lens blur on my little robot layer. 
and I can animate the amount of blur that's coming in and I could match it to the background camera lens blur. So once I have my rack focus all set, I could add some finishing touches to color correct. And here's my final result.